So another important knot that has a variety of uses is the overhand knot. Uh, this knot is very simple. It's similar to the figure eight knot where you make a loop, but instead of going all the way around the back and through the front, as you would with the figure eight, you're just going to go up through the back and it makes a little O like that. So the overhand knot can be used to join two rappel ropes together. Um, if you're rappelling down a really long pitch and you're using double ropes, you might need to tie your two ropes together. So um, let's say this is one rope, here's the other rope. Take the ropes together and you tie your overhand knot. Uh, make sure you have at least several feet of slack. It's very important for this particular use. Um, so you make your loop, go through the loop, creates an O, tidy it up. It's very important to make sure that this knot is nice and tight. because It's a fairly simple knot, but you're trusting it. And I usually like to do a backup, at least one of these strands of rope. I'll uh, tie the usual fisherman's backup knot. Uh, double fisherman's. So that's your rappel knot for joining your ropes together with the backup. So the overhand knot that we just learned about is also useful for creating a water knot. Um, this is used when you have a strand of webbing and you need to tie it together in a loop. Uh, this can save you a lot of money and instead of buying those pre-made loops of webbing, you can just buy a long strand, cut it yourself, Make sure to suture the ends, burn the ends, and then you can join them together. So you take one end, you do your water, sorry, your overhand knot in it. So there's my overhand knot, and have a little bit of a tail there. Take your other end. So starting from where the tail end comes out of the knot, you're going to follow it through with the other piece of webbing. When you're following through, try to make sure that the webbing stays flat. You don't really want it to get twisted, or else you won't have a very clean knot. So, And you tighten it up, pull on all the different strands, it ends up looking like a little pyramid type shape here. And that's your water knot. So now I have my very own loop of webbing. So just as a reminder, simply watching a video about tying knots is not going to be sufficient instruction for tying them yourself in a safe and reliable way. Um, you'll still want to have plenty of practice before you go out and tie them in a real climbing situation and you'll want to double check your knots with an experienced climber. But I hope this gives you a good start in honing your knot tying skills.